Hi folks, I'm here with uh, my friend Jason Nixon, uh, our Minister for Environment and Parks, and we're getting ready for the May long weekend. I'm enjoying an excellent uh, Blindman River Ale made in Lacombe, Alberta. What do you got there, Jay? Well, I got a Pullman Pale Ale from Pinoak, Alberta, two great Central Alberta locations. And uh, hopefully Albertans will be enjoying great Alberta beers like this in the upcoming Victoria Day long weekend. Uh, it's partly an occasion to celebrate our heritage and history, but there's one part of the Victorian history that uh, was a big failure. And I think that was the temperance movement that led to prohibition. Yeah, really just basically an attempt to legislate morality that ended up making criminals out of law-abiding citizens and made actual criminals rich. Right, and so to this day, we're still living with the hangover from uh, prohibition, even in Alberta which was the first province in Canada to liberate liquor retailing from government 25 years ago. Ralph Klein, I think. Thanks to Ralph. Uh, this, even notwithstanding that, many prohibition era rules are still in place in Alberta. It's still illegal to enjoy a beer or a glass of wine with a picnic in most parks. And at outdoor music festivals, beer drinkers are penned up and they can't move around freely on the site. And anybody in Premier who's been to Europe knows how out of date and unnecessary these rules really are. The time for relaxing some of these rules in Alberta is long overdue. And that's why we're so happy to announce today that our new government is relaxing regulations in the Gaming, Liquor and Cannabis Act to give Albertans more freedom to enjoy beer, wine and liquor in our provincial and municipal parks and at our great outdoor festivals. That's right, the liquor ban in provincial parks will be lifted immediately for the Victoria Day Long Weekend that's upcoming. We're also removing unnecessary red tape for outdoor festival organizers. And later this summer, relaxed liquor regulations will be piloted in select provincial day use areas and picnic sites. So in other words, at this summer's family picnic in a park celebrating say Canada Day or maybe Alberta Day on September the 1st, you'll be able to toast the occasion with a glass of wine uh, and you'll be able to move around our great summer festivals with the beer, enjoying the music and, and your friends. Now, of course, our changes to provincial law will allow municipalities to set rules that suit their unique needs and circumstances. And let's be clear, the changes we're making are exclusively for the benefit of responsible, law-abiding adult Albertans. That's right. Anyone who abuses the right and freedom to consume alcohol in public spaces by being intoxicated, causing a disturbance, littering or committing any other offense against public order should, of course, suffer the full legal consequences. Let's wish Albertans a happy Victoria Day May long weekend. Jason, cheers. To the, to the queen. queen. <laughs>